A quick look at behind the scenes of Scamp, the baby dragon. Now, here we have myself, Robin, navigating Blender. I'm on a little bit of a scoot behind the scenes. And as you can see, if you follow the cursor, I have a vague idea of what I'm doing. But just hidden all the uh, overlays so that you get a clearer picture. If you notice that the mesh is very low poly at the moment, it's because I've clicked simplify on so that it plays at full frames per second. In a moment, I will have a wireframe view, put the overlays back on, and uh, give you a demonstration on how I've set up the rig. Now, in Blender, the rig is how we animate the character. I have created some drivers to make it easier for me to animate the eyes, the mouth, and the wings. You can just about see them behind the head mesh. If you're still awake and watching this video, thank you very much. And it's, it's a niche interest. There is a few of us out there. And I'd, I'd argue that we're just an exciting bunch. called the baby dragon scamp and uh, I'm trying to try and keep his clothes on I've just put the fire and smoke simulation on and I wasn't exactly happy about this because I wanted something a little bit uh, childish as opposed to real smoke to sort of like perhaps blend in with the cartoony effect of the dragon so if you look at my previous video you can see the end result off and I'm the one that created this video. Uh, 4 minutes 41 seconds for those people that want to know whether they've got time to go to the toilet or not. So uh, if you're on a mobile device it might get you through a movement or two. And if you're a child I do uh, apologise For my monotone voice. I've never been a Blue Peter presenter and I don't aspire to be. As you can see here I've displayed the rig. I've got the spine bone IK. You can just see torso up in the left hand corner and I am manipulating that to give you a sense of his movement. Now I'm on the chest controller 